get this, starting this Thursday, a 140-foot tall snow ramp will take over the field at Fenway Park, towering above the Green Monster at more than three times the wall's height. Now this Thursday and Friday, Fenway will transform into a complete winter wonderland for the ski and snowboard competition Polotech Big Air at Fenway. Now the two-day event will showcase the skills of the top big air competitors, including several Olympic champions. Now Polotech Big Air at Fenway will feature more than 75 of the world's most talented big air free skiers and snowboarders with competitors representing, get this, 19 different countries. We're looking at the transformation as we speak. To tell us more about this exciting transformation and the International Ski Federation on World Cup and U.S. Grand Prix Tour. We've invited our good friend Mark Leave, who's Managing Director of Fenway Sports Management, who is putting on this event. How excited are you? Very excited, Alberto, and it's great to see you, too. Thanks for uh, having me. Oh, man, this is going to be fun because I always get to see Fenway with the nice green grass. Yep. And this is a different look for people who are watching the show. How do you describe it? Uh, you know, I don't, I don't know that words can to describe it, quite honestly. It, uh, the ramp that's been built that is uh, poking through the top of Fenway Park right now is uh, it's jaw-dropping to see, and uh, it's going to be really incredible to see these uh, these freestyle skiers and snowboarders sailing off this ramp uh, uh, later later on this week. Yeah, and now it, it is a two-day event, so yes. it's not just one. So Thursday and Friday. Yep. And uh, what kind of folks are you expecting uh, to show up? We're expecting you know north of 25,000 people to come over the over the two days. Thursday is the snowboarders; they'll be taking to the ramp, and uh, Friday are the uh, uh, the free skiers and uh, it's going to be a lot of fun a great vibe great atmosphere music entertainment so it's uh, it's going to be a great take yeah it looks it looks like it's a it's also a very family oriented too right that's a lot uh, you, you you're giving Fenway a lot of different uses we are for sure and you know it's been our ownership's commitment since uh, they bought the club back in 2001 to really take Fenway Park which is this iconic sports venue and make it what it once was back in the day yeah uh, I, I I recognize that yes, that's the uh, Latino Family sure Festival. Do. Yes, uh, indeed. Um, and it's been, you know, uh, Notre Dame, Boston College football earlier this year, which was followed the day after by an Irish hurling match, yeah. which uh, a few days later we had four high school Thanksgiving Day high school football games. My high school, so, BC High was there. BC High. So it's, like I said, it's an attempt really to, to Fenway Park when it was built back in um, 1912 was a community resource and it hosted a number of different events, sporting events and otherwise. And this is uh, our effort to, to really make it a community resource once again, be it concerts, family shows, uh, soccer, or hurling and really invite uh, all different uh, people from around New England yeah. to come and experience the ballpark. For someone who doesn't know, how, how long does something like a Polar Tech Big Ear uh, take? Is this something you guys started last year working on to come to fruition? Yeah, we it was uh, discussed uh, at the back at the beginning of the summer, in the spring, um, where it was, when it was an idea, and we announced it officially, uh, I think it was in August, uh, prior to a Sox home game. So it's been in the works for quite some time, and it's a collaboration between Fenway Sports Management and the United States Ski and Snowboard right. Association. It's a sanctioned event. It's part of their Grand Prix. Um, and, uh, you know, actually the build, building of the ramp so the event has been in the making for quite some time several months the ramp has been uh, under construction for the better part of three weeks it's something north of 27,000 pieces of steel that wow. are being used to construct it it's like a supersized director set it's wow. really pretty incredible well for people that's we're looking at kind of look at you you see this probably outside your office or when I you do. come into Fenway yes but the transformation has been incredible and I know for folks who may want tickets I want to kind of put up the website because that's the, you know, that's the prevailing question is, how can I get tickets, right? Yeah, RedSox.com, Big Air is the place to go, and there are great tickets that are available. Um, as I said, it's going to be a great crowd, and uh, hopefully people will, uh, will, will be able to make it out. Well, if I get a free pass, I'm going to go there and take a picture and air it on Urban Update next week. I'd like to put you on a flexible flyer at the top of the ramp and see now, what that happens. That could be done? That could be done. <laughs> As long as I don't get hurt. <laughs> I can't promise that. All right. I'll, I might take you up on that, folks. I'm, I may be back here with some pictures or a cast. All right, my friend. <laughs> Alberto, thank, thank you. you. All right. <laughs> when we return, here's a new concept for you kids. Ditch the tablet, turn off the TV, and go outside and play. Changing how approach youth fitness. Um, all the details coming up right here. You reimagine play right here on Urban Update.